Are you looking for a powerful Blender add-on that revolutionizes tracking, solving, and 3D geometry generation? Introducing FlaxFlow, a cutting-edge toolkit packed with advanced features. For example, it includes a brand new tracking system that can fully track all features in a fifth of the time compared to the regular solution. The new method also makes the trackers more stable. You can see that all the tracking paths are correctly calculated in the new tracking method, while many of them fail in the native Blender tracking system. Another feature is the add-on's ability to determine the precise 3D location of any point in your footage with just a click. It also features track filtering, automatic settings application, point cloud generation, a track covering user interface, and much more. As an example workflow, if we have this footage, I simply click the recommended settings button, then the add optical trackers button, which automatically places and tracks them correctly. Next, I enable the delete and resolve feature for filtering and click the filter button until I achieve the desired solve error. The add-on truly shines when it comes to scene geometry generation. Simply click on the points you want to include, convert these points into a ground plane, and with just a few clicks, you'll have a fully tracked scene with perfect solve error and ground geometry. And just to be clear, FlaxFlow and FlaxTrax are not the same and do not replace each other. For example, if you would like to automatically camera track your footage with FlaxTrax and then use FlaxFlow's add-on capability to click and generate geometry, that will work just fine. As for the FlaxTrax add-on, I have been working on a big update for it over the last couple of months, so just hold on. After installing the add-on, you'll find a new tab on the left side of the screen in the clip editor along with many new buttons. This interface includes four main panels. The first panel automatically applies the recommended settings to your workspace, including various solve and tracking settings. You will also see a prefetch button with an easily adjustable memory cache limiter and a button to load footage for the optical trackers, which we will discuss later. Next, the track forwards and backwards panel includes two main buttons. The native track button and the optical track button both allow you to select trackers and then click these buttons to track them forwards and backwards from the current frame. These buttons are also available here. The panel offers many additional functionalities for these two buttons. First, there is the add trackers option. When this feature is enabled, the two main buttons add trackers before tracking them. To determine where these trackers should be added in the footage, several alternatives are provided. If both the fewest trackers and lowest coverage options are disabled, the new trackers will be added at the current frame. If only the fewest trackers option is enabled, the add-on will add the trackers at the frame with the fewest trackers. If only the lowest coverage option is selected, it will move to the frame with the lowest percentage of footage covered by markers. If both options are selected, it chooses the frame with both few trackers and low coverage. Before we move to the next setting, let me show you how these features are meant to be used. Let's start by using the track forwards and backwards button with the native trackers. With the add trackers option disabled, it simply tracks the currently selected tracker forwards and backwards, then returns to the original frame. If you enable add trackers, you'll see that it now adds and tracks on the current frame in both directions. During this process, the add-on's built-in UI displays information about the number of trackers at each frame and the percentage of the footage covered by trackers. When you enable the fewest trackers option, the next time trackers are added, they will be placed at the frame with the fewest active trackers. Similarly, if only the lowest coverage feature is enabled, it will add and track on the frame with the minimum area covered by trackers. All of these actions can also be performed with the new optical tracker, which is much faster and more stable. Simply click this button instead of the one we used earlier, and you'll notice it operates significantly faster without losing any trackers. To truly demonstrate the speed and accuracy of the new optical trackers in FlaxFlow, let's load a more advanced scene and compare the techniques side by side. This footage contains significant motion blur and is pixelated in places with poor overall quality. Let's begin with the regular tracking system As you can see, it took a while to process, and many of the trackers failed to track throughout the entire footage. Now let's use the new optical trackers. As you can see, it processed much faster and the results are far more stable. All the trackers remained intact. Not only are the trackers fast and stable, but they are also accurate. If we select a tracker and lock the viewport, you can see that it perfectly tracks the feature. Moving on to the rest of the panel, here you will see all the settings to decide the pattern size, search size, and so on for the native trackers. Down here we have the optical tracker settings. The first setting, 
Optical pattern size determines the size of the pattern used by the optical tracker. A larger value allows for tracking more complex shots and produces smoother tracks. However, setting it too high may lead to drifting, so a value between 20 and 80 is recommended. The next setting specifies the number of pyramid levels. A higher number enables the optical tracker to process greater motion, which is ideal for challenging scenes. The third setting determines the number of iterations computed for each frame. 40 or higher is recommended. Lastly, the minimum accuracy setting defines the threshold for the minimum change between successive iterations. Keep this at the recommended 0.001. Moving on to the third panel, which contains settings for filtering and solving. The first option is for the filter trackers feature. The initial slider determines the percentage of the worst trackers to select or delete. Alternatively, you can enable the use number feature to specify an exact count of worst trackers to select. The delete option decides whether the selected trackers will be removed or simply marked. And if enabled, you can also choose to resolve the footage every time you filter. Once the settings are configured as desired, simply press filter trackers to perform the operation. Note that the first filtration might not remove any trackers because none of them have yet accumulated an error score, as this is the first time the scene has been solved. However, as you filter, you'll notice that each tracker is color-coded to represent its reprojection error, red for the worst and green for the best. To further reduce the solve error, simply click the filter button multiple times. In this way, you'll refine the track until you achieve a clean result. The third panel also includes a separate button for the FLAC solver, an upgraded version of Blender's native solver. The FLAC solver often produces better results and dynamically adjusts the color of each tracker based on its error. Another filtering feature offered by the FLAXflow add-on is outlier selection, which identifies markers with tracking paths that deviate significantly from the others. As an example here, we can see that some trackers bugs out and deviates compared to the other trackers. Simply click the Find Track Outliers button to calculate and then adjust the outlier threshold to choose how many trackers to select. Now onto the final section, the Add Geometry panel, which offers many useful features. These features work when you have a solved and set up scene, as demonstrated in my example. To use the first feature, simply hold Ctrl and Shift while right-clicking anywhere in the viewport. This action automatically adds the correct 3D position for that point. For example, if you want to add a ground plane to your footage, you can click on its corners, join the points by pressing F, and then convert the shape to triangles using the provided button to avoid creating an n-gon. You can then subdivide the geometry to create a perfect floor. If you notice that the position of any point is inaccurate, adjust the locator settings as you would with a normal tracker to achieve optimal tracking results. For more challenging cases, FlaxFlow offers a feature that allows you to click on the same point in two different frames to generate its 3D position. To do this, hold Ctrl and Shift while middle-clicking on a point, move to another frame and click on the same point again. An empty will be placed exactly at that point's 3D position. If you want to use the manual selector more efficiently, enable the jump feature to automatically advance to the next frame. Lastly, if you want to generate multiple 3D points in your scene, specify the number of points along the X and Y dimensions for the grid, then click Add 3D Geometry from Frame. After a few seconds, a grid of 3D locators will appear, representing the calculated positions. I'm very excited about this add-on, and I hope you are too. The FlaxFlow add-on is currently available on Blender Market and Gumroad. During the first week, you can enjoy a 30% discount using the code FIRSTWEEK. I hope you like it, and if you have any questions or suggestions for additional features, please contact me.